Hello, this is Alexandros the Priest from Sporgar PvP RP Realm EU. I'm Ipsilando the Shaman. This week we will be playing our Nomi character, Small Like Meatballs. Yes, and we will eat from my famous spaghetti al pesto con pomodorini as we talk about Fire Mage and Shadow Priest. Fire Mage, everyone's envy from Cataclysm, who in compassion was turning every map into a living bomb, creating 6 digit numbers on DPS meters. This build has a problem. Fire Mage might light your fire, but it is heavily crit based, so unless you have your crit heirlooms fully enchanted, you won't enjoy the leveling experience to the fullest. And when I say to the fullest, I mean that feeling of being an unstoppable pyromancer. Critical hit is random, so every time those instant pyroblasts and flame strikes do not pop, our way grinding becomes impossible and taking consideration that survival is an issue due to thin armor of course, crowd control skills become essential to use. Which skills are you referring to? Well, fire mage might take a lot of damage, but it can be avoided by using properly skills like frost nova, which our way roots, dragon's breath that our way disorients, Plus wave with an AOE slow and if all that fails, blink or shimmer is your best friend to start running away. But if you take damage do not panic, use blazing barrier and rotate your crown control before giving up. I would suggest this build to people that don't mind the ups and downs and like to play on the edge. It's an adrenaline pump with never ending surprises. If they play out good or bad, that depends mostly on you. Now, tell me about your priest, baby. Shadow Priest. Whether you or your opponent starts to lose it, it's obvious that someone is going to go insane. Even though with the current insanity system we might sound like Yoxaron, we're not even half as ugly. <laughs> this is my first Shadow Priest and as it's usually in the beginning, some things are hard. This time the hardest part was to fight my urge of putting bubbles on everyone. I'm quite happy with my damage in both dungeons and battlegrounds so far. Even at this low level, it has quite a few fun skills such as Levitate, My Vision and Psychic Scream. I have always wanted to play a priest for many reasons. One of them was levitating around for fun whenever I feel like it. I know it's not a very serious reason, but it seems so cool to me. You can use it when you feel like stalking someone. I remember once some random horde priest casted in on me to see what I'm looking at. Well, as soon as I realized, I started to stare at bats of various characters, so use it at their own risk. Some things cannot be unseen afterwards. Don't tell me I didn't warn you. I believe that was just an excuse, so you can check out random bats. Admit it. <laughs> no, it was not. About Psychic Scream. It makes up to five of your closest opponents to flee in fear, so... If you are not one of those poor people that look like Yuxaron, you can use it as a nice form of crown control in dire situations. <laughs> what if you do look like Yuxaron? Well, you don't even have to use that skill, it's going to be your passive. Okay, now Shadow Priest conclusion. Shadow Priest is a nice DPS spec that gives a lot of fun. Would I keep on leveling it up? Yes, I would.